Hello everybody, Grace Joe Blazer, and we're back with more Revhead. You know what this garage needs? An Australian flag. I got flack on my uh, My Summer Car video because I screwed up the uh, Australian flag. I haven't seen it enough, man. Needs to be displayed more. It's probably in here somewhere. It's like, where's Waldo? Or like, urban camouflage? Because I'm not used to it, I can't see it. Anyway, today you guys were talking about fast cars and how to put them together. And I want to put together a fast car today. Let's go into the parking lot real quick. I think we still have that beat-ass frame. There it is. This frame, for some reason, says 300 kilometers per hour. Now, you guys were saying that it is a mixture of differentials and everything else that gets you there. But I'm very curious about why this frame says this. Now, a couple of you were saying that you can find a 591, I think it is, horsepower Aroa 2 engine. I want to look for that. A very specific differential and gear ratio as well to the newspaper. I'm pretty sure you guys said that you found it in a Wanja. Uh, let's see, we got a Walia over here. Boot and bang, high mileage Megora. Got a new Wanja, wrecked Jingu. Uh, and then a wrecked Walia V8. We can check out this Walia. Again, if nothing else, because it's wrecked, we can sell almost everything in it. Let's take a look real quick as well through the engines, but sometimes, let me just check here. See, this is a cheap, cheap XGTV8. Why is it so cheap, I wonder? It's called Aroa 2, I believe the other one is. So that's kind of what we're looking for. Someone said there's different uh, filter, um, oil now that you can put in, besides just regular oil, okay. As well, we're supposed to get a sport radiator. Because I think uh, our radiator keeps making us overheat. So we do have a sport radiator for a Wellia. I think you guys were saying too that it doesn't matter what frame you put things on. Works for just about everything. Let's see here. Used oil filter. Don't really care about all that. Racing air filter A. That's fine. But the supercharger tower seems to be pretty good. You guys were suggesting that quite a bit. So over here in the gear area... You guys were saying a five speed if we can find it. And if it has the right, uh, the right, uh, ratio on it. Got a used gearbox five speed for a boot and bang. Kind of interesting. Low gear four wheel drive for a Ralia. A Ralia. <laughs> New factory low gear four wheel drive. I'm gonna get a couple things here. Let's go grab this used five speed. I wanna take a look at that real quick. Let's check out the low gear four wheel drive. I want to take a look at that. Uh, and while we're at it, let's also grab this differential box for the boot and bang. Um, the boot and bang normally has pretty good differential stuff, doesn't it? We got another used diff over here for a boot and bang. But uh, we'll grab this one. I'm just basically looking at everything here, man. We're looking at all kinds of crap around here. New low gear diff. And then. Let's check that out real fast. All right, here it is right here. The four-wheel drive, 230 ratio. One of you guys was saying this is the promised land right over here. Uh, if you put it on with the... Let me see. what. If I do, do I have any extra engines here? Oh, I have this crap. I don't think I want this. Um, if you put it on the XGTV, I think it was, they were saying that they burnt through gas basically like by the time they get to the end of the raceway, but they also go insanely fast. How about this gearbox over here? Five speeds, shifting time, 0.8 seconds, huh? Well, we can fix it up if we want to. Let's make a little money. Let's go ahead and grab this wrecked, uh, Walia over here. Uh, we're at a freaking area in the freaking parking lot. Man, we run out of space so quick. You guys were saying that there was more space out here? Not right now. This is all we can do, man. Um, I don't know what I want to sell. We could get rid of this Jingu over here, or we could just rip the parts out of it if we wanted to. I know the engine inside is close to what we're looking for. It's not the absolute fastest, apparently, or it's not the most... It doesn't have the highest horsepower, I should say. But we could grab this and put this in the other frame. In fact, we can grab most of the stuff on here and put it in the other frame. All right, let's start throwing car parts on here. Put the new motor on. We'll put a supercharger tower on there. We're going to need a radiator. We're going to need all kinds of stuff. We don't have a horn on this thing. I think that we have some of the other stuff here. We do have suspensions with tires. 
I just don't know what kind of tires we have on here. Let's check this out real quick. We do have the slick tires. Um, guy was saying racing slicks or drag tires. Um, we can try these racing slicks. I'm not really too sure how well they're going to do. Let's go ahead and just put this stuff. I'm just going to put that on there for right now. I got to look at the newspaper and see what else we can find in there. Let's throw on our diff box. There it is, the Whalia 2.3 ratio, four-wheel drive, baby. We're going to freaking burn gas like nobody's business. We've got a couple of half shafts in here and everything as well. We can put these on down. Looks like we only got one used sport radiator right now. It's for a Whalia. Um, I mean, I'll grab it. You never know. Maybe it'll do okay on this contraption right over here. Oh, it's in pretty damn good condition. Uh, there's no fan on it. But I think, hold on, if we go over here and we go to our other radiator, I'm pretty sure we've got a fan on it. Yep, we sure do. Let's go ahead and rip that off real quick. Put it on there. Five-speed gearbox is going on. Should have an area for our steering column as well. Look at the steering over here. The Jingu Sensitivity 06. Look at how much more expensive it is. Huh. All right, well, whatever. Jingu steering wheel on this thing. Oh, this is a friggin' Franken machine right here, boys. This is so strange. Got some half axles. I do have a battery that we can throw in there. That's good. I think that there, we're gonna need a fuse box. Yep, right over here. Fuse box, throw that on as well. We're gonna need some more shafts and things. Uh, what kind of things do I have over here on this? Nothing on the hub. I'm gonna snag these slick tires. They're brand new. I'm going to snag these rims, I think, as well. Never installed before, you say. Sounds good. Let's go ahead and rip these rims off right here and put the new slicks on. Used rear racing suspensions. I think we have sport suspensions over here. We do have sport suspensions. Now we have racing suspension. They're almost brand new, though. Um, oh, they're red. Let's go ahead and fix them up real quick. We can put our hubs on this, can we? No, we can't. Oh, we don't have any extra hubs. All right, I gotta go grab some hubs. That's fine. I think that there's still plenty on the on the, uh, the paper real quick. We can go ahead and grab those. Man, I feel like we're gonna need... I feel like we're gonna need the same suspension all the way around. Having different sets of suspensions is probably a bad idea. Let's grab some hubs real quick, though. All right, boys. Guess what I just found? on the newspaper the Aroa 2 so supposedly this is even more powerful supposedly than this one I think 100% sure the displacement on this is bigger oh this is the one boys 591 horsepower oh god oh we found it just need to get a carburetor on here and an oil filter the one that we have is crap um, so this engine is an Aroa engine. I don't think that it's really gonna matter too much. Uh, we are gonna need a carburetor, though. Are there any carbs sitting around here that we can go ahead and use? Used. Okay. What else we got around here? Man, there is like, there's like a whole lot of nothing around here. There's one for a damn, one for a damn Wanja. The drive belts are looking like crap. Uh, let's use. I don't want to use drive belt. I want a new drive belt. Now I'm starting to find some items here. New carburetor for an Aroa 2. Let's go ahead and grab one of those. Uh, if I can get a good drive belt here, I'd be pretty happy about that. Let me see here. New drive belt for a V8. Um, do we have anything else? We also have a used carburetor over here if we really want to. I may just have it so that we have one. I don't know. Um... Man, what else do we have here? New carby. It's not even a carburetor anymore. It's just a carby now. Uh, let's go grab... I guess let's go ahead and get this extra drive belt because I'm gonna need one. We still need the extra racing suspensions. If I can find some over here. Having some hubs would be good too. New hubs for the Magora. That's pretty good. Uh, let's see. What else do we need here? Drive shaft I just bought a little while ago. Half shaft for four-wheel drive. Um, I'm going to buy these so that we have some on us. Hopefully, I can fix all those up. Let's keep putting this thing together over here. We got the carburetor in. Let's go ahead and put that in there. The, the air filter is going to be the supercharger tower. I'm not worried about the horn right now. 
Um, over here, that's not what I wanted. Over here, the clutch, we should... Oh, I thought I bought a generic clutch. I'm gonna go ahead and get one of those. We do have half shafts that we have to put in. We have a whole bunch right now. Generic half shafts, let's go ahead and throw those in real quick. New clutch, we'll go ahead and get one of those. I'm gonna grab a... Supercharger, let's see here. Supercharger tower. Uh, yep, let's go ahead and grab one of those too. Getting a little bit low on funds here, but it's not too bad. We can always sell some cars if we need to. Over here by the carburetor, let's go ahead and throw on our supercharger tower. There she goes. And what else do we need to put on here? The old drive belt. We've got quite a few now. Got some generic ones, but this one over here for the V8 is the one that's going to go on for right now. Going to go ahead and throw my new rim on over here now that I have slot for it. Brand new giant ass slick tire in there as well. Check out the hubs over here because I think we're going to need to put hubs on the back. Go ahead and fix that up real quick. We've got regular boot and bang style hubs, eh? Alright, so I gotta get a pair of hubs back here. Man, I still gotta take care of this freaking suspension problem we got going on. Got new racing brakes for the Magura. We're gonna go ahead and grab all that because I do need to put some brakes on here. We don't have brakes on our hubs right now. You can see right here, racing brakes. Throw a couple of those on over there. Racing brakes over here as well on this hub. I'm gonna need some control arms apparently. Gonna have to grab a couple of those. Okay. I think that's everything finally, man. I've been working on this for a while. Go ahead and start up the engine real quick. Now, I haven't tested the engine yet. Um, I probably should have lowered this down and checked everything out first. Look at this freaking beater. Look at this beater. Let's go ahead and bring this up. Go ahead and put the body back to tip-top condition. We'll go ahead and give her the old wash right there on the bottom, looking good. Oh, right there, we need water inside of this thing. Oh, Nego Oil Sport and Race. Give me that racing oil, boys. That's what you guys were talking about. Um, we've been doing, I think, okay with one less air. I think it's all right. Fueling this thing, kind of low. I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of pump her up here real fast, because you guys were saying... Once you start getting on the road in this thing, it uses up fuel real fast. Okay, let's give this a shot real quick. All right, now I don't know. Mozzie servo, whatever. All right, let's see how this thing drives. Oh, God. All right, yep, it's, it's, it's a little fast. All right, hold on here. Let me get, let me get nice and, nice and prepared. It's, it's real wacky on the turns too, boys. Oh, wow, this thing turns rough. Okay, I'm not gonna- someone was saying I shipped at a low RPM. Well, give me a little bit here while I try and figure out how I want to drive this thing. Oh, wow. Oh, it doesn't matter. Oh, it doesn't matter what I'm doing. The one guy said that steering this thing and controlling it was a real pain in the ass, and he is right. I'm gonna try and keep the accelerator down just a little bit here, just to kind of get used to this movement. Man, this thing is pulling 160 in freaking third gear. I'm not even really pushing it that bad. Oh, we need some gas, by the way. Let's go ahead and stop over here real fast. We'll go ahead and grab some quick gas because I think we're pretty damn low. And then we're gonna put a new paint job on. And one of you guys have been saying for the longest time, hold on here, let me go ahead and fill her up. How much petrol you need? All the way, my brother. 10.6 liters, huh? All right, fair enough. One of you guys was saying for the longest time, black and blue as the colors. All right, we can do some black and blue. So, this thing's fast as hell. I'm gonna go ahead and bring it back to the garage real quick, and then we're gonna try it on the raceway and see what we can do in this thing. All right, you big, beautiful bastard. What do we got here for the colors? Should it be black on blue? Let's take a look at this real quick. Yeah, nice dark black right there. And then what are we gonna do with it? We're gonna put some racing stripes on it. Now, the only problem... Oh, okay, good. The racing stripes aren't really obstructed by the, uh, the supercharger tower here. How about if we got rid of this? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's getting somewhere. And then, let's see. What kind of blue do we want for this? We want, like, a dark blue like that? So, black on blue like this, I wonder? Or, hold on now. Black on blue like this. I don't know, man. I almost feel like I like the other way better. I like all I like this with hold on now. With this. Or do we want a darker blue? 
I almost like a lighter blue, just so you can see it. Not like that. That's a little bit too light. But maybe like, um, let's see here. Right around like that right there, maybe? That looks pretty hot. What other kind of stuff do we have on the sides here? Stuff like that. Ooh. Ooh. Hmm. How do I feel about that? That doesn't look half that bad. You boys know. Or we could have our fish on the side, but we already had the fish. Let's go with this striping right here for right now. I know a bunch of people are probably like, oh, great. You make the ugliest freaking cars in the planet. Maybe I do. But today, our car looks like a winner. If we go back over here by the car, it still says 300 kilometers per hour is the maximum. The engine in this thing, 591 horsepower. I'm surprised that the vehicle itself isn't worth more. Let's go over to the racetrack, boys, and see what we can do. Welcome to Gutta, boys. We're going to cruise around the track a little bit just to see what we can do here. Just to see. Oh, my God. Oh, look at the freaking RPMs. One of you guys was saying you don't even go really into second gear. You just go straight to third. Okay, this is way, way faster than our previous vehicle. Oh, my God. All right. I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to get used to this. Oh, 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 hey now, hey now, okay, oh god, oh god, yep, you're right, I think they said that they never even touch the right steering, they just only steer left, oh my god, man, this thing pulls all over the place, alright, what's fifth, what's fifth gear like, I wonder, maybe a little, little bit slower, little bit more control for old gray, right in here, I don't even know if we really need this gear, yeah, it pulls a little bit outside when you come out of this, man, the correction on this thing is insane, too. Holy crap. 47 seconds, though, and we did pretty terribly. Fifth gear is a real pisser. I think that fourth gear is probably the promised land in this thing. Let's go ahead and punch it into third. Punch it into fourth here, and we'll see. Does fourth get us all the way around? God almighty. Holy crap. All right, where does fourth get us? Well, the speedometer goes straight off. And we're still pulling pulling power out of this thing past the RPMs. All right, let's see here. If I can drift all the way around this. Oh my God, oh God, oh yeah. All right, 40 is the best I've gotten right now. I think I've already torn up my, uh, I think I've already torn up the belt pretty bad. We're gonna have to just go ahead and race with this thing right now. I'm gonna see how well I can do with it. But man, this thing, I've gotta check out a different steering column for this. Because the steering right now in this is way too sensitive, even without a keyboard. All right, boys, I fixed everything up. The beast should be ready here. Let's go ahead and give the race a shot. I think that we should do pretty good. We're going to have to buy some cars and sell them because, oh my God, we're out of money. Uh, we're pretty low on money. Do I want to take the challenger on? I guess so. How much does it cost here? Two grand to challenge, huh? All right, let's give her a go. Let's see what we can do here, boys. Now, old Gray is going to freaking concentrate. What is this? Is this just a drag? Is there nothing else here? I didn't know that this was just a drag. Wow. Oh, my God. Uh, we destroyed the competition. I mean, can are we even allowed to do this again? I'd love to go for it, but I'm out of room. Guess I better take the dough instead. Oh, here we go. You look like no array around a gear stick, blah, 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 5,000. Yeah. Who else? Who can put something on us? Who can do it? Let's see right here. Oh, I hear someone. I hear Lucy trying to go for the gusto here. That's no big deal, though. We freaking got it. And there we go. Bam, $5,000. Okay. So we can definitely drag race with the freaking best of them. Can we win? Man, I don't know if we're going to be able to get the time challenge. The time challenge was 39 seconds, if you remember correctly. Um, hold on. Let's, uh, let's do this real fast. Oh, 31 seconds for gold? I cannot get 31 seconds yet. Uh, I'm pretty damn sure. I need to get a better, I need to get a better RPM counter too. Because this RPM counter is garbage. Um, it only goes to 5,000 RPMs. That's not going to help me out at all. Oh, my God. Oh, this car. Oh, this car and its freaking handling. It's so hilarious. Oh, yeah. Just pull a little bit more for me, baby. We got 
We got freaking power to spare right now. Okay, let me see here. I'm gonna go. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna go into this turn in third gear. This is so insane. Right around here. There we go. Drifting in and out of this turn. Got to come out of this turn. Shit. Alrighty. Well, there you have it, boys. There's old Gray making everyone proud. I'm so sorry. Yeah, this is a car that's going to require a little bit of practice. That's just how it is. We could probably do a race on it. Uh, and we'll win. Don't get me wrong. I'll go ahead and scrape a bunch of my, a bunch of the friggin' paint off the car right there as well. We'll win, but it's not going to be pretty. And I think, oh my god. Oh yeah, pull for me, baby. Pull for me. That's how we do it. Man, staying at 4,000 RPMs is actually a little bit better than going on the high RPMs because this thing is way too damn fast. So let's try, let's try a little tip over here. We're going to try and go in slow and then right it around here. Now we'll kick it down a notch. Oh God. Oh, you gotta be freaking kidding me. Oh yes. Oh, it's been so long wall. It's been so long since I've seen you. Oh, it's impossible not to freaking overcorrect on this thing. I am barely nudging the steering. You guys have no idea. Um, like barely nudging. Maybe if I, maybe if I feather the gas, maybe feathering the gas will get us to where we need to be. Hold on here. All right, I'm nudging the steering just barely. Oh, I'm trying to like not even, damn it. I'm trying to not even like, I'm just putting my shoulders into it barely. Oh, oh, okay. That's too much. Oh yeah. Okay, go ahead and shift down here. Oh, it is an experience in itself, boys. Revhead is just an experience in and of itself. Okay, so we can get silver pretty easily. I'm pretty sure we can get silver. Um, and in fact, let's go, because right now we're just looking at bronze right here on this thing. Yeah, we've got quite a bit of cash on us now too. Although the engine's getting a little bit more beat up every time we race. But I'm going to go ahead and say that we're probably good on a silver. Probably. Probably pretty good. I just have to, okay. I just have to take it nice and easy. Nice and easy. There's the turn old Gray needs to have. That's coming out low. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, gotta ease in. Ease the wheel. That's how I want to take this turn. That's how I want to take it. Come out right there. Oh, shit. Oh, hold on now. Hold on. Right about there. All right. This is the last lap. I think we're going to try and get it, though, boys. Wish me luck. Put your spirits next to mine. All right, nice and low. That was not low enough, but I think we can still save this. I think we can still save this. I just got to watch the, the throttle. There we go. There we go. Man, alive. Stop pulling on me, car. Stop pulling on me. And not that kind of pulling on. I'm talking about the other kind of pulling on. The type of pulling that I don't like in the middle of a race. Okay. Right around here, right around here. No, 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 no. Don't you get away from me, back end. Don't you get away from me, back end. No, 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 no. Shit. Oh, I think we just lost it. Hold on. Oh, yep. And that little bit there is what did it. All right, boys, practice makes perfect. You guys know how it is. I feel so bad. Well, not so bad. There's a guy out there that can do this in 29. I don't know, guys. What's your best time on this? Feel free to let me know in the comments section. I'm going to keep it in fourth gear for this. I'm gonna keep it in fourth gear for this right now because I'm feeling pretty good about this run right here. Feeling pretty good about it. Feel pretty good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, we just barely got it. That's what I'm talking about. 6,000 bucks for that. We managed to finally get silver. 39 seconds in this thing. And oh, Jesus. Like I said, practice makes perfect. I'm gonna have to give it a million laps in this kind of car. To make us do well. I think we're going to go back over to the off-road track. We built ourselves a pretty decent speed demon here. We can win the drag, no issues. But now I'd really like to try out the uh, the off-road stuff. If we could build the very best, the very best off-road vehicle we can get. You want to see us make something else? Feel free to let me know, guys. Until the next time, stay foxy and much love.